Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, today we are rushing B long, so get your ballast on in uh, this nice green color, and uh, you know, follow me. Hit a Glock 18C, which is default, not nearly as cool in the game as it is in real life. Uh, yeah, so hey, been gone for a bit, here again, your boy, with the LaCroix, carbonated water. And uh, yeah, so what we're doing... I've uh, been away for a while, I wanted to do a little sort of an update, since there's a little bit of free time. Hair's back, by the way. We'll probably mohawk this after, but what we're doing is we're gonna go... I, specifically, I'm gonna go get LASIK. And get the little zap zap, which is kinda cool. I went to the office with my buddy, Sneaky Tom, we're like, Yo! Rev up them lasers! And they're like, nah bro, you gotta do these tests first. Because nothing can be that fun and easy. So, we're gonna document most of the process. And I'll give you guys a bit of background story. First, well, first, let's talk about what happens. So how does LASIK work for those? I'm going to give you the full basic biology of how an eye functions if you uh, slept through high school, middle school, the greater portion of your life, basically. What they're going to do is they're going to give you a little relaxing drug, which is important because they're going to do all sorts of crazy stuff. So they drug up your eye. That's the first thing. They lock you to lubricate and safe because it's going to be locked in place with those little eye clamps. And they're going to take this microkeratome, microkeratome, whatever they call it, I don't know the exact pronunciation, I've been in Japan for too long. Which is this little device here. Looks relatively harmless, but they mobilize your eye, put that over, and that little thing, it goes push, and it creates a slit. Yeah, they're gonna sli they slice them in the eyeball, which is one of the things you do, but you never really look at the knife. You go, no, a knife close to my eye, that sounds like a fun time. Surely that won't have any adverse psychological stress related flight or flight re reflexes on uh, the people involved. But yeah, so they slice your eye up before they laser it, and then it goes, there's this light, and it goes, Bzzz. And, uh, yeah, then they push it back down, give you drugs. It heals pretty quickly, supposedly. And there's also no pain receptors, which is fun, but it's still absolutely horrifying because some of us played through the Dead Space series, and there's a little part involving a needle. Probably not nearly as fun, but, uh, yeah, you can picture. I don't think Isaac had drugs for that. I think he was pretty sober, so, yeah, let's not play that game. But, yeah, so, LASIK, gonna be a good time. Gonna be a good time. So, yeah, I was... Chris with spectacles from the age of 16, which you go, hey, that's pretty late in life. Why would you get glasses at 16? It's because I was blind forever, and we had an HMO and no money. So basically, when I finally got glasses, it was a, it was a trip, so okay. So we're in bumfuck Barstow, California, where I grew up. We had to go up to Victorville, where all the drugs go. Start in Newberry, by the way. It's a long story about meth labs, but the moral of the story is, because we were poor, and I complained about my eyesight for many, many years until my familia finally took me off to the eye doctor, and I was like, man, I've been doing mediocre in school for the longest time. I don't feel like a dumb kid. And the doctor's like, can you see this? I was like, see what? And he's like, yeah, you're blind. There's a bit more to it. A bridge version. So we go to LensCrafter. I'm going to do this part blind. It's important. So we're in LensCrafter, and glasses are way too goddamn expensive because it's... 2004, mind you. So 2004, which means Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, the video game, had been out since 2002, because the year is 2008, and world teeters on the brink of war. So with that in mind, it kind of did, but not really. So with that in mind, we're at LensCrafter, I've been walking around the Victor Mall, everything's fuzzy as all hell, as it's been for all my life. So this is, new, this is normal for me. Normal for me is just everything's fuzzy as hell. And I was like, I don't know why people worry about getting their hairstyles, you can't see it unless they're right next to you. We all started, so one day, me and my buddy, we're at high school, we're watching, my buddy from high school, we're watching a football game, and he has his glasses already, he's had forever, since like middle school, and he's, um, he's got his little binoculars and stuff, he hands to me, and I always have to adjust, and I was like, I can see really clear, but it's weird, you don't have to adjust, and I was like, wait, unless you don't have to adjust them because you're wearing glasses, your vision's already been fixed. So that's how we tied into the whole, I can finally convince my friends, like, hey, I'm pretty sure I'm blind, it's hard to tell because I've never seen clearly before in my life, but... You know, I think I could do better if I can actually see the board, because they put me in the back of the class all the time. So we're at LensCrafter, and it takes them a few hours, they finally make the glasses, I go into the store, and they're like, hey, here, take these, and they hand them to me. It's not going to work for you, because your vision's fine, but hopefully, when I mean, you look at that, yeah, everything is all fuzzy for you, but I can see it perfectly. Oh, you can actually, you could rotate the camera around a bit. So they give me the glasses. And mind you, everything's been sort of fuzzy my entire life. I put these glasses on, I was like, oh my god, HD. HD in 2004. 
What's going on? The lights, they're so clear. The trees? The trees have leaves? How long have trees have leaves? It's not just a green mass. Yeah, there's... So... But... The blessing was also the curse. Because now glasses go all the time, especially now with kids. They're like, hey, hey dad, you know what's funny? And they go on the floor and they usually like crack or shatter or something. It's like, ah, you little rascal. But it also causes a bunch of problems, particularly military-wise was a problem because you have to wear one BCGs to begin with. And they don't work because look, I've got two kids. So obviously they don't work. Yeah, I know. So, uh, yeah, so glasses are fun, but they fog up all the time. You have a car and they fog up. You wake up in the morning and you can't see anything. You gotta find them. You might sleep on them. You might roll over on them. But it's always been one of those like crucial hinges that I absolutely hated. And you'll be like, well, good tonight if you were in the Marine Corps and you can get free LASIK at those times, why don't you just get LASIK? Because when something like this, you know, there's like, hey, can I get LASIK? They're like, uh, you're on your first enlistment, right? Yeah, fuck you. That's it was an entire conversation. Like, you gotta at least re-enlist once if you want free LASIK. So my buddy, who did re-enlist, he actually got LASIK, like, last year. He said it was the greatest thing that ever happened to him. Which, I was like, man, I've been wanting to get LASIK for a while. I haven't out. I haven't done it. It always looks expensive. Well, let's see how much LASIK is. So we go to the clinic, they're like, hey, less than two grand. We'll do both eyes. Not in the States. States is, like, two grand discounted per eye, so... Now that we're here, he got it for free. Lucky him, but, I mean, two grand to be like this, and actually be able to do my, wear my hat like this, like I'm cool, and be like, mm, I'm gonna stare down at people now. I could wear shades. I've never got to wear shades. I wore shades like once, and they were like $3 shades from like some discount store when I was like seven? And I couldn't, I couldn't see anything, but they looked cool. Hell, that gas mask I have, the MSA Millennium, with a nice dark tint that looks sexy as hell. Can't see anything out of it. And it's like $70, 70 to $90 just for the inserts. And then you take them out to town. You want to get like the actual lenses made, and that's a few hundred more dollars. And the moral of the story is I'm tired of spending money on glasses. And contacts, contacts are. I don't like them. I mean, they're good for some people, apparently, but I'm going to clean them and wash them. And I had a buddy, and he was like, Yeah, sometimes they roll into the back of my eye, and the trick is to stay calm. I was like, Yeah, let's. I'd rather just get the chop and be done with, so. That's what's been going on. Everything's been good. I haven't been doing too much. Alternatively, we got our airsoft gun. We do have a sling now. I don't remember the last time I filmed, but we got a sling. I put the red cap on there because it's fun. Don't hate, appreciate. So we got our GAT. Got a nice little pistol grip. I moved this back here so we can actually put a full rail part on here. And yes, Mythic keeps telling me I should go M-Lock, but M-Lock's for nerds. And when I say M-Locks for nerds, I mean it's a cool idea that I don't want to spend the money on because I'm just going to be shooting my friends with 6mm BBs and not going to jail. And I could do that just fine with this. M-Lock would be nice, but it's so much money. Especially when we're dropping all this money on getting the Zip Zap so we can be free. Free at last. Free at last. Praise the Lord, we're free at last. So yeah, that's basically been everything I've been focused on. That's going to be happening sometime in mid-May time frame, so look forward to that. I'll be filming the video and stuff and upload to Ye Old Internet when that time comes. In the meantime, well, not a whole lot going on. I'm trying to work on a few other videos, but I haven't had any free time. I, To be fair, I'm not going to have a lot of free time until September, which is a long time from now. But that's life sometimes. So who knows, maybe we'll be able to get a game or two in the near future. We're mostly waiting on a JPC to come in the mail. It's going to be sexy. It's going to be a little bit longer, but eh, that's life. But, I mean, we can run some stuff in the meantime. I also got a uh, few cool things that I'm looking forward to doing reviews on. And, yeah, I also, if I get the chance, I'm trying to make a video basically on uh, kind of like a welcome aboard, part of the orientation for all the new enlisted Marines and stuff coming out here. Who still want to go play airsoft because shooting paper targets with real guns is fun. Don't get me wrong. Lots of vital skills learned there. But if shooting at targets that are shooting back and try basically the greatest time against your fellow man is its own fun thing to do. But we'll get on a video about that here in the near future. We'll also do a video involving tiny targets and stuff and some of the overlap you have between real gun shooting, let's get you so and not to spoil it, but basically, 
as much as I've reloaded mags with an actual firearm, I've gone exponentially faster airsoft-wise. And although I haven't had the chance to test it out, I'm pretty sure it'll work more or less the same with real mags. Maybe someday. We'll see. We'll get around to being back in the States and slaying paper targets again. Which, apparently, if you shoot paper targets, your ultimate goal in life is to make fun of people who shoot other people also armed with 6mm BBs as a hobby. Because, I don't know. Fuck them, that's why. It's usually the response I get. So yeah, hope everyone's doing well. We got our sexy ghetto blast here. They're light, and hopefully we'll get out and get to go shoot some guns at some point. Also, the near future, I want to get another Glock 18C Tokyo Mudder full auto, just because it's fun. Those things are nice. I mean, the Glock 19 is what I'd prefer to use, but a full auto pistol, even though you'll never get to do a game full auto out here in Okinawa for the most part, it's a great thing to have. It just, it fills you with, it fills you with happiness. Just a happiness gun. God, it's nice. Full auto is just one of the greatest things in the world. Which is why we do everything in very controlled pop, 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 burst. Or single shot. But yeah, you know, I'm rambling. Had a chance to talk to you guys in a while. Don't know when I'm gonna get to film again. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Stay chivalrous. Do uh, good things. And um, always wear full skill eyebrow. So yeah, cheers. Take care. We'll go. Hopefully pop some people here in the near future. I actually gotta take this bolt apart. I gotta put that end pass unit in there, do a review. Well, not necessarily a review on that, but tell you guys more about it in the near future. So, cheers, take care, and um, if you're not gonna look cool, why bother doing it? See ya!